God damn it, bitch. I'm kidding. God damn it. On this bitch. <laughs> I'd noticed with all the other bands that we never got to, like, the really good album. Like, a lot of these bands we started in, like, the rhythmic place. Kind of like where me and you started, where mm -hmm. it's like Dems RP, like, started in a very rhythmic place. And, and like, with Hi, I'm Your Mom, never really got to that point. Yeah, I think you were kind of subconsciously doing that. You're like, okay, if it can get to this point, it's worth fucking investing I mean, I in. guess so. Uh, but you know what's funny is that what it really was is that the first process is always that process that gets you to the rhythm. It's almost like when I'm trying to make an album with people, that is kind of just the way I haven't broken it down yet, but that's just the way it falls. It just it, it always becomes like a really kind of simplified album, and if it's catchy, it's normally from whatever instrument I'm doing. I only allow super complex shit to come out of my end so that it is me and I allow them to do what they're gonna do for the most part and not modify it so much. It's not like I'm gonna just auto-tune the shit out of them kind of vibe, mm -hmm. you know, even though like that's a bad metaphor. No, I get case. what you mean. Though. But yeah, like I'm not gonna just auto tune the shit out of them. Like, Force their shit to be I'm, a certain Yeah, way. I'm gonna I'm gonna encourage them to on the analog side to do the best that they can, and and then I'll choose the best. But then you know that's why it comes out that way, because if they get to a certain point, then then they'll get influenced to know, like to bring more melody, or they'll let me write some shit. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? But we have to get to that point, you know? And they have to, like, put their stamp on it. And I actually have to figure out what their style is to even be able to write for them. That's true. Because I can't just write for them if I don't know them, you yeah. know? And if I don't know their style at this point. Well, and that's kind of a prime example with um, the whole... Yeah. You, oh. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. But I'm, I'm not. No, no, you're doing even worse now. Oh. Oh, s sorry, man. Sorry. No, I. No, no gas. No gas, man. Yeah, I made that really awkward. I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I just. I'm so dumb. It takes me so long to process shit. When someone turns at you, you're like. <laughs> I'm like, you still, I am. you still live in that bubble. <laughs> no, well, I, yeah, no. What's funny is that when, when that dude kidnapped me, he would yell at me for that shit. Because he'd be like, don't look people in the eyes. Da, 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 da. He would like yell at me hella hard because I didn't know. He was like, if you look people in the eye, they're just going to snatch you because you're showing that you fucking aren't taken and shit. Well, yeah, that's his own thing. But there's but another there's thing some va That's valid, though. That's like a point because, well, uh, yeah, but I mean, to that guy, it was like I looked at him and that showed him that I was ready for him. Like, what do you need, brother? Yeah. Because if I had just not looked at him, he would have just not said anything. Yeah, it's because you were looking for something. That's what, no, that's what that means. Right, no, because I felt the when you're looking no. for When you're looking at something, you're looking for something. I'm looking for where the fuck is this signal coming from. That's what was happening. It was like, beep, beep, beep. And I'm like, huh? Yeah, oh, you? you? Just, but that's the thing. You have a deep internal soul need. And that's what's coming from, like, you've never been taught or thought to not look at people in the eyes you're looking for love is what you're looking for so like that's what it comes out you looking for this shit i have a i have an intimacy issue with that because i i'm looking to avoid rejection and look for a safe place so i don't look people in the eye unless i can you know what i mean but that's the thing is like that's what he meant you know what i mean that's his own tactical interpretation is is that's what it means to him from a business standpoint yeah but but it only is, is that because of the fact that the deeper meaning is that you came from a place where it's okay to look at people in the eye. Yeah. And it just so happened in that past world you wanted to. <coughs> yeah. I guess I never really thought about it like that. People look at things that they're interested in looking at. You're interested in looking people right at the fucking eyeballs. I've always been a really curious person, so that makes sense. I was definitely always the kid that touched everything, fucking pushed every button. I'm an yeah. idiot. No, you're it's, poopy. It's just you're dumb. Poopy the face. dumb people do that. Dumb no, no, people. you're just a poopy. You're a little poopy. 
my hands up, touching everything like a poopy. You're very sweet. This is cool though because I'm using what we're talking about to tie into these lyrics I'm writing. You're freaking poopy. Yeah, I can't wait to kill this fucking butter. Oh, God. This shit is... This is gonna be hard, because it's awkward. It, I, like, I don't realize how awkward... It's not awkward for me at the time, which I've gotten that down. Like, that's cool. I've gotten that shit down. I never used to... I used to feel the awkwardness of that, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm, like, keeping it going for me. But then watching the shit... I can sense what they're fe that how much awkwardness they're feeling regardless. Not during, not while I'm talking. They yeah. actually feel at ease when I'm talking and I'm, I'm moving it forward. But it's like the times, it's like, I do it really well sometimes. Like even watching, I'm like, all right, that was cool. That was like David Letterman fucking fluency. Yeah. Like, great. And then, nope. Well, like so, like people, some, something they'll think or... and it doesn't get addressed. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, because it's like, I totally know what you mean, because I deal with that every day. Every single day, all the people I meet, like 50% of them, I have never met a person like that, or I haven't like known a person close yeah, enough like yeah. that. So a lot of the time, I'll say shit, and it won't even hit at all. Or it'll hit, but then they're really, the way that they respond, I'm like, who the fuck are you? Like, yeah. what? Is, so then I just kind of die, you know? I'm like, eh. So it's... It's, yeah, I totally feel you on that. It is actually very interesting. I feel like working in that sort of environment definitely changes the way you socially deal with people. It, for the better, possibly, if you have the right, you know, m mental growth serum. I'm going to put that in the lyrics. <laughs> How do you spell serum, babe? Serum? S-E-R-U-M. Okay. Could be wrong, but I'm probably not. <laughs> oh. So I'm gonna take, uh, I'm gonna take like 20, 10, like intentionally 10 minutes and then just fuck a little bit with this wedding a little bit more since it's on my mind. Mm -hmm. um, this is an okay spot. Mm -hmm. And then me and you are gonna kill some shit. And what's cool is I think we're gonna use this as our personal vendor. We, we'll use all the time before we go in there. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that even if we left that left there and went back in here and stayed, it wouldn't be awkward, you know? No. But um, just for like- moving. Especially because there's a laundry mat right here. Yeah, exactly. So I think um, I ain't tripping. 